Science and supplies rocket to the space station. New clues about an interstellar visitor. And updating the status of a flagship mission. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. We have ignition and liftoff. Almost three tons of supplies and science experiments are headed to the International Space Station on a SpaceX Dragon cargo craft. Launched on a Falcon 9 rocket from Florida on June 29th, the cargo ship is set to arrive at the orbital outpost early on July 2nd. One of the experiments launched on that mission will help scientists study how plants respond to changes in water availability. The EcoStress experiment will be installed on the space station to measure the temperature of plants from space as never before. Our Webb telescope is now targeting March of 2021 as a new launch date, after an independent review board completed its assessment of delays in integration and testing. NASA and the board unanimously agreed that Webb can still achieve mission success, peering into other galaxies to see light from the very dawn of time. We're creating something new here. We're dealing with cutting edge technology to perform an unprecedented mission. And I know that our teams are working hard and will successfully overcome the challenges. When it's not looking deep into the cosmos, Webb will turn its infrared eye toward the mysteries of our own solar system, including Jupiter's great red spot. Building on data from Hubble and other observatories, Webb could shed new light on the enigmatic storm, including clues about what causes its iconic color. Astronomers now think the mysterious interstellar visitor named Oumuamua is behaving more like a tiny weird comet than a rocky asteroid. Data from Hubble and ground-based observatories confirm the object got a boost in speed and shift in trajectory as it passed through our inner solar system last year. This boost was not caused by the gravity from the sun or planets as would be expected, but possibly from an unseen push from jets of gaseous material like those that affect the motion of many comets in our solar system. Recent flight tests successfully demonstrated technology that could help quiet the aircraft noise heard around airports during landings. The flights at our Armstrong Flight Research Center in California saw a more than 70% reduction in airframe noise caused by landing gear, wing flaps, and other non-engine parts. If you're a podcast fan, check out The Rocket Ranch from our Kennedy Space Center on Florida's Space Coast. Our newest podcast series will take you behind the scenes with the scientists, technicians, and engineers working to return humans to the moon and put boots on Mars. Learn more about all our podcasts at nasa.gov podcasts. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.